2021 November paper 1 AAHL question 9 so uh oh we're supposed to do a binomial expansion this is uh one of the new thing in the new syllabus a binomial expansion uh of something of known positive integer power so for example this one have power negative half the second one have power half. All right, they want the expansion up to the x squared term. So you simply do the expansion of each of them uh, up to x squared and then minus. The thing is uh, kind of in the formula booklet, they give it to you as a formula. So the only thing you need to be careful of is that uh, this number has to be one, like the A have to be one, right? This slot have to be one. Then you pretty much just follow uh, the formula. Uh, you take this whole thing as your X, right? When you are using the formula. So it will be one plus the power, right? And it's the power, and then times X plus the power, and then the power minus one over two factorial and then the x squared, except x is ax. Now, in case you want to see, uh, let me demonstrate one more term. It would be the power, and then the power minus 1, and then that minus 1 again over 3 factorial, and then x to the power of 3, so on and so forth. All right, so you probably get the pattern now. Uh, but for this time, we only need x squared term so we will stop at x and then you minus minus the binomial expansion of the second thing we'll take negative x as the x so it's 1 plus n to the power of x plus n n minus 1 over 2 factorial negative x squared and uh, there will be a bunch of other terms uh, we'll simply simplify them and then subtract them so this is 1 minus half a x uh, plus, we need to figure out what this is. I mean, usually I would use a calculator to do this, but this is paper 1, right? What is that? Half times 3 over 2. The negative cancel out, right? So it's 3 over 4 divided by 2, so 3 over 8. a squared x squared minus 1 negative half x uh, negative square is positive you have half times half minus one is negative half so it's negative 1 over 8 x squared and then 1 minus 1 is, is 0 negative half a minus negative half so it's negative half a plus half x right that's the x terms right x minus x is the x term like this one and then we have the x squared term minus negative uh, eighth of x squared so it's a over three a squared plus one over eight x squared well the question says it should equal to four a uh so equal to four bx plus bx squared, so negative half a plus half equal to 4b, 3 over 8, a squared plus 1 eighth equal to b. Okay, so I guess this question is quite tedious. So we'll what, divide it four away? Negative a eighth a plus a eighth is b, so we can put the b here a squared plus an eighth equals to minus 1 over 8a plus an eighth. So the eighth cancel out plus 8a. The 8, you multiply both sides by 8, so it's gone. Take out the a, so it's 3a plus 1 is 0. So either a is 0 or a is negative. A third, a probably should not be 0. Yeah, a is not 0. So a is negative a third. 
uh, once we know A, they also ask for B. Well, just put A here and you found B. Let's say we'll skip that. The second thing that is important for a binomial expansion is when is this expansion valid? The idea is this expansion uh, actually goes on forever. It doesn't stop, it keeps going. So it's kind of like a sum to infinity in geometric sequence. So uh, there's a notion of when is uh, the expansion convergent Right, much like how uh, when would the sum to infinity exist, but usually I will use the term uh, when is it valid. Turn out is valid as long as your x is between negative one to one. Okay. Except for the first expansion, our x isn't really x; it's ax. So we need ax to be between negative one to one. While for the second expansion. Our x was negative x, so we also need we also need negative x to be between negative one and one. All right, but obviously, if negative x is between negative one to one, then x is simply between negative one to one. Well, for this one, a was a third, negative a third, so it's negative a third x. Well, if negative third x is between negative one to one, then a third x is also between negative one to one. That means x is between negative three to three. Now remember this condition is like an n, so you need value of x that satisfy uh, both condition. So it's kind of like you want the intersection of both condition. All right. So x need to be between negative three to three and between negative one to one. So overall, it has to be between negative one to one. Okay. So you see, uh, binomial expansion with a non-integer power is kind of complicated, but uh, I wouldn't say the question is tricky. It's like a pretty standard. Uh, non-integer value binomial expansion kind of question uh, you really just like expand the thing according to the formula so i uh, hope this helped you